Hello there, out there in <laughs> cyberspace. This is uh, Dick Walker with uh, Toby Progers. We are in Ad Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, Marietta, actually. And uh, Toby's got these uh, books out on his table. That's right. And uh, I think they're called the Boomerang. And the way I found his house was he had a Surrattsville's pennant with a gold hornet on it in the front yard. And for a Georgia man, that's uh, that's high praise, isn't it? <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Dick uh, came all the way down here to Marietta to find a Surrattsville pennant in somebody's front yard. <laughs> Super. Um, the this is just a, a a brief video just to introduce uh, our old classmate from uh, you left in the eleventh grade, right? Uh, that's right. Um, I left uh, at the end of 1962 halfway through our 11th grade um, and uh, my dad had retired from, from the Air Force at that time and we moved to California where uh, I graduated from high school in 1964. Y'all were kind enough to include an old picture of me in the uh, boomerang yearbook um, and uh, uh, here it is 46 years later and uh, and look who the cat dragged in. And Dick Walker <laughs> shows up at my front door and says, what do you want? <laughs> yeah, I was looking for a handout. Yeah. Now, actually, I, I think uh, the beauty of, of, of uh, our class being such a, oh, how should I say, a bunch of good people, kind people. Um, Toby's telling me that Bonnie Angevine uh, and Jamie Seaman uh, found him. Uh, Phil Foster got me connected with Toby because he remembered his middle name from high school. They were neighbors. That's right. And then we call. I called uh, Toby and we chatted for. He called me back and we chatted. And uh, you've joined the website, right? You've. That's right. You've joined, and uh, right. and now we're going to have a video and some pictures, and pretty soon we're going to um, ask uh, Cindy, uh, Toby's lovely wife, to come and sit down with him and say hello to you. So. You can see what a what a lucky guy he is. <laughs> so, um, you've been a, a judge how long? Uh, almost thirteen years. Thirteen years, and you've ran opposed how many times? <laughs> well, uh, I've, I was initially appointed in 1995, and I've run unopposed ever since. Very fortunate. Uh, it's knock on wood for Toby. That's right. <laughs> this is my election year, and if I can get one vote, I'm in. All right. Opposed, so. Super. Well, uh, Toby and Cindy have been kind enough to uh, invite uh, my friend Judy and myself out to dinner. We went to the town square in Marietta to have a wonderful dinner. And uh, we're back at the Toby's Hacienda and we're about to have some dessert and coffee and uh, what else? No dancing girls, right? No, no. Yeah. no. We're just, just going to sort of catch up a little bit more and had a great time. Uh, I want to tell you that I really appreciate, uh, uh, Dick, what you've done and, and this is just so exciting. I mean, uh, the Surrattsville days were a very important part of my life, of our lives. And when we were growing up, we were going through the teenage years, the great transformation in the early 60s and uh, to reconnect uh, with, with those times and these people is just an extraordinary experience. Um, I will say this, when Dick uh, showed up at our front door today, he looked just like he did <laughs> back in 1962, the last time I saw him. Very slim, very slim. That's right. <laughs> uh, now, do you want to you wanna tell any stories about anybody like Kurt Massey or... Uh, were you part of those, uh, those balloon battles we used to have? The balloon uh, fights in uh, Westchester? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I was. I don't remember those. Mm. Uh, or, or maybe I'll say like uh, those uh, uh, in the TV commercials. Uh, I do not recall that. I see. I see. So. Now, um, are you slated to get your own TV judge show? Uh, I don't think so. No? no. <laughs> Uh, did you ever have to, uh, were you ever cajoled into climbing the Westchester water tower? 
no, I never did that either. You didn't? No. Well, so, Mac McConnell's a juvenile delinquent now because of Phil Foster. Okay. He did that. Well, I can understand. I, I guess I got out of uh, I got out of there just in time. <laughs> we were still abiding by the rules when I lived there. Uh, uh, but uh, now you were telling me Mac McConnell is uh, it's kind of a shady character now, right? He's since stock market or something like that, day trader. Uh, was was I telling you that? <laughs> Very was, good. Uh, Mac McConnell, um, I, I, I guess maybe uh, he, he's mentioned this. Uh, he and I have seen each other a couple of times in the last 46 years, but the last time we ran into each other was in Athens, Georgia, when our daughters, coincidentally, were graduating magna cum laude from the same school at the University of Georgia. And he was sitting in front of you with his white hair showing off in the, in the, in the light? That's right. Uh, I noticed this guy with this white hair, and uh, I said, how annoying is that? Uh, it turned out to be Mac McConnell, and I saw some things that he wrote about me, uh, how he described what I looked like in, on your uh, website, and I can only say he was he just misspoke. That's oh, I see. He just misspoke. But it was a great experience running into him and, his, and <coughs> meeting his family. And, uh, that took us back too. Uh, that was a great, great, uh, great event. Well, I'm just glad he got out of law. That's that's the most important thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> well, folks, you've uh, you've heard the rest of the story. Now, if you want to see the history, you go back to this book here. That's right. Uh, next, uh, we'll ask uh, Cindy to come over and sit down and say hello. All right. Just hang on a second. I'll turn it off.